The enemy is headed south, to the burning shores. My people are lost and scattered. What could he possibly want with them? We have to find out, no matter what it takes. He's up to something big. Every tribe, every one, is in danger. I'm interested. I hope it's awesome. My problem with Horizon so far has always been that it's it leans a lot into style over substance. It looks great. It moves great technologically. It's very, very impressive. Um, but then there's just some bafflingly stupid design choices all over the place. And it's it's really confusing when it happens because you're like, wait, so many other parts of this game are tremendous. Why is this so bizarrely weird? Like, wh why is this not where it needs to be? This looks awesome, though. I love these big, like, huge set pieces, and that's awesome. The DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn was pretty cool. The snow one it was pretty short, um, as I recall. But I thought it was pretty good. The snow deformation system was awesome. How do you fight that? Weak points, baby! Weak points! <laughs> Horizon game is utterly boring. IMO. My my biggest problems are, for one, the world design. Very pretty. But the way that they structure everything is extremely Ubisoft-esque. It's just throw stuff at it. It's not placed with rhyme or reason. Um, Almost across the board, it's always placed seemingly to just maintain equidistance from place to place okay this is what we're dealing with this is the map for horizon forbidden west and all of these little things when i looked at like um for example the witcher 3 or red dead redemption 2 or breath of the wild everything was very very precisely placed very carefully the whole map was carefully arranged what this game feels like they did is that they did procedural generation on a, each major biome and then they stitched them all together and then they just threw random stuff in the worst offenders were like over here if i filter everything out so these are fast travel points <clears throat> and fast travel points are used for fast travel one of the weirdest choices they made, you can see they have these sprinkled throughout. Now, just ask yourself on a very simplest, uh, simplistic level, why have fast travel points in a game? They have to choose to, to put this in, right? Like they have to choose to place these here. They don't just randomly get placed. They choose to put them here. So why put one here? Well, it's because you want the player, if they need to go somewhere in this vicinity, they want to be able to give the player the ability to fast travel to that location so they don't have to spend a lot of time moving and navigating the world that way. When you look down here, ask yourself, why have all of these fast travel points? Now, they're also used for quick saving. That's the other thing they're used for, and that's that's also important to note because what these are all used for... <clears throat> a lot of the time, is quick saves because there's different, like, uh, big... I wonder if I can actually put them back on here. Uh, yeah, like here, if I plop these back on, you can see right here there's a fire bristleback. Here there's a tremor tusk. Here there's a bellowback convoy. And so what they wanted to do is have you explore. You see these guys. You go over to the campfire, quick save, and then you take them on. But what ends up happening is that you just have an ocean of fast travel points all the way throughout. And as I've said before, if you give the player the ability to do something, even if it actively makes their experience worse, they will do it. I It's just a fact of game design, okay? If you give players the ability to quick save and quick load, af like right before and right after a major decision is made in a, an RPG, they will do it. They know it'll probably spoil the fun of consequence and trying a, a role, but most players will do it. 
sorry to be the bearer of bad news. They'll just do it. So when you give players all of these fast travel points, you can see that they're probably placed here for sake of quick saving before taking on different uh, major machine encounters. Like the roller back, quick save, take on the roller back. Oh, you need to take on the asshole bristle back? Yes, yeah, quick save here and run and take them on. The other reason that they're here is because each of these places is also used at times for grinding for materials that you need for crafting. And they want to make sure that if you need to go and collect, say, snap maw materials, you can quickly fast travel and take them on super fast. And then you have to wait for them to respawn. So you have to travel away, do something else, and then come back and try again. So the whole game is built around the the grind of hunting machine after machine after machine for crafting materials for upgrades and things. And instead of making that just fun or streamlining that into a, a more um, interesting structure, they just decided to sprinkle all of these fast travel points in for quick saving so that if you die, you can quickly get back into the action. And so if you decide that you need to take on a fire glint hawk, you can just quickly fast travel here. Even if you're playing over here, they don't want to task the player with having to travel all the way back across. So they just give you a quick fast travel and plop you back over here. Honestly, and perhaps this is a, a hot take, I think Horizon as a franchise would probably be way better if they just totally got rid of fast travel altogether. Um, the world is beautiful. They give you means of navigation, especially at the end of the game when you get access to the vertebrate or whatever. Um, or what do they call it? Glint talks or Sunwing. Sunwing is what they call it. Um, if they gave you access to that earlier and just allow you to fly around the map, that would be in my mind way better. But what happens is when you're playing the game, especially towards the end, when you need to get better gear, you're just going to start to find the machines you need to hunt to upgrade that stuff. Go hunt the claw strider by fast traveling to this campfire, hunt them. And then you're like, okay, now I'm going to move on and I'm going to fight the snap maw. You fast travel over here. You do that. And all of a sudden you're just fast traveling around the map, skipping over one of the best things about horizon, which is how pretty the world is to navigate. Um, and I know some people in chat are saying, well, easy, just don't fast travel or easy. Just don't quick save, just fast travel only to the major locations and do that. What you're doing there, though, is you're requiring the player to self-regulate the experience to make it fun and interesting. And what I would say to that is that it's literally the developer's job to do that for you so that everybody can have that experience, not just the players who foresee this issue and then choose to forego the annoyance of how the game is currently built. It's the same thing in my mind as telling people that you need to go and um, download six mods to properly enjoy the game. Like if you're talking about New Vegas. Oh yeah, New Vegas is great, but you have to install six mods before you can play it. It's like, well, at that point, is New Vegas great? Or is it the mods that make New Vegas great? You know, it's it's a distinction. I, to be fair and to be clear, I think New Vegas is great without mods. Um, with, with mods, it's even better, but that's a separate point. Um, Let's see. I just couldn't get into Horizon no matter how much I tried. Yeah, that, that was me with Ghost of Tsushima until I tried it on 60 FPS. And let me be clear. I I think Horizon ha does a lot of stuff really, really well. And there's a lot of pieces to it that are awesome. I still insist that it's probably like an 8 to 8.5 out of 10. I think it's pretty good. But I've never went, this is great. A lot of the time, the narrative is just kind of cringy. Um, they seem super obsessive and insistent on Aloy just being the super badass, tough, chick who can do whatever stunning brave and beautifully and even when it doesn't really make sense like she's got this moment where she can be vulnerable and they bring in a, a clone to project all of her insecurities upon for Aloy to come along and be like stop being a little bitch and figure it out <laughs> and it's like you could have had Aloy have that sensitivity but instead you brought in a clone to do it like that's insane that's ridiculous out of they're out of their minds but Anyway, anyway, uh, all of this to say, I don't know, where did we even start with this? Oh, just, yeah, broad problems with Horizon as a franchise. This stuff has always frustrated me because I think Horizon does a lot of stuff really well, and then they just shoot themselves in the foot with some of these weird design choices. And this, I mean, look at this. Look at all these fast travel points. 
Are these all for quick saves? I think so. They place this one here. So you fight snap maws and you can quickly reload. These two are here to serve this scorcher. This one's here to serve, I guess, going and getting a charger maybe. But then why is this one here? I don't know. Like, why are all of these fast travel points sprinkled in here? For the quick saves? Maybe. I don't know. It's bizarre. He took my thing.